We may have an issue with this thing. Light primer strikes. Hmm. Not feeling super confident about this. For safety reasons, I definitely wouldn't eject rounds as quickly as I did. I just had experience with what the firearm was doing to the primers. But for safety reasons, if you ever have a click like this, I recommend point it down range and wait. What's up YouTube? So as you can see, we were having some issues with light primer strikes. Now, the first day we took it out, it seemed like it was getting better progressively. But the second day we went out, it was just horrible but towards the end of the day, it seemed to get a little bit more reliable. Now, when I dry fire the firearm, it feels extremely weak, almost like a 22 hammer. Um, I'm just gonna let you guys hear the firing pin since my mic is right here. It, it sounds like a 22. I'm firing it just to see how fast uh, the malfunction happens. There it is. I'm about ready to call it. But what I will say is I love this firearm. It does seem to be well built. It is accurate and it is a lot of fun. During this video, I actually put the sling around my neck and steadied it. Now any caliber bigger than this, I would have been a little bit more nervous, especially how close the firearm was to my face. But with the nine millimeter, it was extremely controllable and it made shooting the gun just so much better. Oh, it went through a whole magazine. The two times that I went out there and it actually worked flawlessly, which it did happen, were some of my favorite moments at the range. And I've been shooting a long time. Flawless. That's, that surprised me. That was flawless performance. It was easy to hold it on target, actually. I contacted American Tactical, the importer of the GSG MP40, and they suggested that I send it back to them for their gunsmiths to take a look at. There could be a whole host of problems with it. Now, I'm not a gunsmith, but it seems like the hammer is very weak. To the gun's credit, it has had no issues feeding rounds and only one incident where it didn't eject a round. All, right. all in all, I really love the looks, the feel of this firearm, and I am heartbroken that I have to send it back because this is my new favorite gun I own. But I want this thing to work. So I'm going to send it back, make sure that they get this right. Now once I get it back, I'm going to go through a video detailing what exactly they repaired on this firearm. And there will be a future video of a review. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming up in the future.